Engineering for Change turns 10 this year. The anniversary marks the midpoint between two decades of action. The action of our growth over the first decade and the action that we all must take over the coming decade in support of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals to meet the 2030 Agenda. In 2008, the leadership of the American Society of Mechanical Engineers posed a question. How can we use the internet to engage engineers in solving the problems of global poverty? Over the next two years, answers to that question seated Engineering for Change. E4C launched in 2010 with the promise of gathering the world's engineers together with global development practitioners across the sectoral spectrum. Our promise was threefold. First, we sought to connect volunteer engineers with the people who could use their skills to improve lives in underserved communities. Second, we believed we could suppress the increase of wasted investment and technological failures we saw in global development. Our goal was to inform and guide the engineers, funders, and everyone involved in the process of design and deployment of technology-based solutions. Third, we strove to amplify the good work of organizations whose proven designs had been overlooked. In our decade of service, E4C has evolved. We responded to the needs our members expressed, shifting from solely an online space for collaboration to an online space for knowledge sharing and workforce development. Today, our reach is broader than most of us would have imagined. We have more than 40,000 members and an online community of more than 1 million followers. Our roster of multidisciplinary experts has swelled to nearly 1,000 contributors worldwide. We now manage a research fellowship and deliver actionable research to organizations in need of engineering insight. Our solutions library has grown to more than a thousand essential technologies for underserved communities. We regularly host webinars and seminars with thought leaders in engineering and global development presenting their findings. And over the years, we have had the privilege of partnering with dozens of engineering societies, multinational firms, startups, non-governmental organizations, multilateral agencies, and others. With our first decade in the rearview mirror, we are looking down the 10-year road to 2030. The world has made long strides in lifting people from poverty, but work remains. Technology and the engineers that develop it play a pivotal role in reaching the sustainable development goals. Mounting pressures from climate change, overpopulation, and even support from governments, and of course, the COVID-19 pandemic, all threaten to derail their completion. With those challenges in mind, we're all at the starting line of a decade of action.